Hello beautiful people, in this video, let's talk about cheap wireless microphones. Hello people of YouTube, Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar, and as I said in the intro, let's look at a rather cheap AliExpress wireless lapel microphone. Well, I knew that it was going to be a tall order to find something that was cheap and sounded okay. And, and I'm going to just say it to you straight right now. This isn't the product of something that's cheap and sounding okay. I um, had a little look around on AliExpress and was looking at, you know, out of curiosity, what, what's the cheapest wireless lapel microphone that I can get? And I, I, I landed on this, the Zoo... Zudid V8 microphone and when I bought this it was around two and a half thousand shillings you know that's two and a half that's twenty five dollars uh, with a little bit of shipping on top I thought well it's worth a punt to see what this uh, this this will will look like and sound like and I thought I was getting two transmitters and one receiver but it turns out they sent me this now there is nothing in the description to suggest that this is the same well except for when you open it up and you have a look at it the cool thing about this is it it, it can work with my nikon it can work with my iphone and i'm also hoping it will work with a sports camera as well and so you know it's it's not remarkable packaging uh, you know there's more chinese on it than there is english uh, you can see the configurations that you could set it up you can also see that there is you know two versions of this the two transmitters uh, and one receiver and the 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 one transmitter and receiver um and you know it it says what it is on the the, the, the packaging let's um let's just push it out and i can show you what you get inside the packaging here well you obviously get a fairly comprehensive destruction manual it is in both mandarin and english um, and yeah you might want to take time to read it i mean this isn't too difficult to work out you do get a whole range of different connectors usb-c to lightning usb-c to c you get a, a normal usb to a double usb-c adapter and then of course you get a couple of these mini jacks to mini jacks as well where you can plug this in, in my case or plug into to my my nikon camera uh, so you also get the fabled dead cat you know this is used to take any wind noise out of the uh out of the the air if you're outside and doing a long shot and then of course you get the two devices themselves let me just take them out for you now and you can have a little look so so here they are uh the one that's flashing i've managed to switch on there's a power um button on the top here so this is the receiver and you know the difference between the receiver and the transmitter uh, because there's no microphone on top, the power button's on top, and also you get a uh, a, a micro jack or a, a mini jack. Uh, you got USB-C on the side here, and then you got an adjustment button here. The microphone, although the same size, you know you can look at it on the palm of my hand there. You can see that it has the microphone on top. Uh, you've got a couple of uh, adjustment bottom buttons on the side there and you've also got a power button and another USB-C. Now on this one what you can do is uh, put the dead cat in on top and what does it you kind of find it clips on and you turn it and, it and it's on there pretty solid and so that's what it looks like with the dead cat on as well. Uh, they also come with, as I said, a whole selection of cables and actually I think I might find these cables more useful than the microphones themselves uh, because they're nice and short, great for traveling, uh, you know, I don't have to take big long bulky cables with me and um, yeah, so I think I might find those actually more useful than the microphone itself. But I think without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto my collar 
uh, and I'm going to plug in the receiver into my mixing desk and let's have a little experiment just mixing from the studio microphone that I've got here to what it sounds like coming through this wireless transmitter. So I've taken some time, wired in the wireless microphone into my studio setup here. You can see that the wireless microphone is just fastened onto my shirt about the same level that I would normally put a wireless lapel microphone. Uh, so I've just had a little listen to it and just adjust the level so that when I swap the microphones, hopefully you will hear the difference between the two. So this is the studio mic through a compressor, through a no noise gate. I'm going to fade that out now. So fading out the microphone. And I'm going to fade in the lapel microphone now. So you'll probably notice there's a lot of studio noise going on. I've got a server just sitting over here. Um, I have put the dead cat on it in hopes that, um, you know, just give you an idea of what it sounds like through the dead cat. Obviously, the advantages of a dead cat is that it takes out any wind noise if you're outside. Um, I did listen to this earlier and I did have to make some adjustments uh, just to make sure it, it doesn't sound overdriven. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch this video off. I'm just going to go and listen to it because when I listened back to one of my earlier recordings, it sounded very tinny, very high end. There was no bass into it and even sounded a little overdriven uh, from time to time. So I'm going to also play with some processing on this, see if if that helps as well, because if you have a camera with a compressor on it or something like that, you might find that it sounds better. And obviously in post, you can put some EQ on it. So let me do that now. So I've just been fiddling around in my virtual mixer and I have put some of the similar processing on that I would have put on the studio mic. So you're listening to me on the lapel mic now. I've added a compressor. So hopefully that's leveling out the sound a little bit. I put a noise gate on, so hopefully it's cutting out some of the, the, the server noise that I've got in the corner of the office here. And I've also put a, a little bit of EQ on, trying to take out some of that kind of tinniness and maybe bring some richness back into the voice. I don't know what this is going to sound like because uh, this is the first recording. And um, I'm going to pause this now, going to have a little listen to it, and then... Let's sum up and I'll give you a verdict on whether you should drop $25, $30 on this microphone. So I thought I'd just give it another quick go. I've actually got my DSLR out. You know, this one, I very rarely get out in the studio. I'll take it out on the field with me when I want to do some really nice, crispy shots. But what I've done is I've wired the microphone into the audio jack or the microphone jack on the Nikon here. And I know the Nikon has some quite interesting processing on the audio. It's quite good at leveling the sounds, bringing sounds up and down. So I just thought maybe I'll just try this and, and see what it sounds like. I'll throw this into the mix as well so you can get an idea if you have something like a Nikon D5300 like I have, whether you want to use it for that application. I've gone back and listened over both of those audio examples. And I'll be honest, I'm not overly impressed. Yes, these two devices cost about 20 to 30 dollars. They are very plasticky. You do get the dead cat, which is quite useful. You do get a whole plethora of cables. But the audio experience well, I just don't think it's up to par. I don't know if you can think of a use case scenario for them. Perhaps you need a cheap wireless lapel microphone uh, for some not so exotic use. But for me, uh, the only way that I might consider using this is if I am filming something in a particularly windy environment and I perhaps want to compromise a little bit of the vocal audio quality uh, to to remove some wind noise that the dead cat might be able to provide for you. Well, I've wasted $25. Uh, I'm hoping that you don't. 
And uh, one of the things that I would like to do, and I've been planning for a long time, is to actually buy one of the more expensive versions of this product and um, give it a comparison. So I hope you found this useful. I really appreciate you watching. Please rate and subscribe, do all of the things that YouTubers do. And I'm really looking forward to bringing to you the next exciting video. Thanks for watching.